Hi everyone, Osama Saad is here from Smart PM Training and today I will show you how you can use Power BI in Project Control. So let's get started. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to this channel and click the alert notification. This way you will not miss any new videos. This is my dashboard and I have here my key progress indicators contract start, contract finish, forecasted finish, the amount of delays, the variance percentage, SPI, planned versus actual, based on cost and based on man hours as well, the time elapsed and the time remaining percentages, the remaining cost and earned value cost. This is an overview of the progress curve based on cost. And I have here as well the planned versus actual percentages and I can scroll down to see all activities in my project and here I have the trend of project delays during this period I had no delays in the project then the amount of delays remained stable during this period then I had more significant delays over time this is my progress matrix I have here the list of activities the planned percentages as per early date and as per late dates as well the actual percentage and the variance percentage and I can scroll down to see all activities listed in the project and the delayed activities are highlighted in red and I have the indicators here as well to tell me whether or not the activity is in delay not only that I can click any activity and the whole dashboard will be interactive with me so the progress curve right now will respond to my selection and all my indicators here will change to reflect the columns steel reinforcement only I can see also that the part related to the columns steel reinforcement is highlighted in this chart and it will show me how much the earned value and the remaining cost for this activity account from the overall project I can also make the selection here for example so I get the same result so everything will be filtered out based on my selection I can also hover on any activity and see any additional information that might help me in my analysis such as planned cost the exact figure of earned value cost cost variance and remaining cost not only that but I can go back to any data date of my choice and carry out the same level of analysis that I have just done right now so for example I can go back here and everything will change and I can see the progress status back then with one click I also can apply more filters so for example I can go to category and select concrete and the whole dashboard will be interactive with me so these indicators are for concrete only the list of activities here are for concrete only as well this is the progress curve for concrete etc however the dashboard is meant to only show high level information what I'm going to show you now is how you can carry out more advanced and complex analysis you can basically do anything you want in project control of your project with one click let's go to the progress curve and this is detailed progress curve for everything I can see here the planned percentage on weekly basis based on the early and delayed date the actual as well as well as the cumulative for planned and actual but what if I am not interested to see all the information here I want to only analyze this part of the chart I can use the slider here to select the timeline and I can now have a better understanding and a better visualization of the progress during the selected period only not only that I can go to any filter of my choice here let's go to concrete for example and now I have the progress curve for the concrete category only so in other words in this case I will consider the concrete as a separate project with its own contract value and the timeline and the progress curve will be generated for me immediately with one click only so now I can see the progress curve for the concrete these are the percentages for the concrete work only and also the cumulative for the concrete the timeline for concrete so now I have laid 
laser focused analysis of concrete activities i can do whatever i want column shuttering for example i can now have the progress curve of four column shuttering only with the planned versus actual trends so this is very powerful and it depends on the level of detail you want to analyze the s curve will be generated for me planned versus actual and if I select the concrete activities, I can also see the progress indicators are interactive with me. So it's updated based on my selection right now. And I can go to column steel reinforcement. I can see here from the indicators that no actual percentages, but I have some planned percentage. It's obviously in delay. I can also use the slider again anytime I want. So everything is working, is synchronized. I can also do the same level of analysis, but based on man hour. So it's the same layout, but everything here is based on man hour. I can go now to the progress matrix and I will see the list of activities for the whole project. What is the planned versus actual and what is the variance? The same indicators here related to the earned value variance percentage and SPI. I can also choose concrete, for example, and it will filter only concrete activities so I can have a better analysis of it. And I can also go back at any point of time, as we have seen before, to see the status, then all the indicators will reflect the progress status for the selected data date. So anything I choose here, they are all working. Okay, and I can basically choose everything, column mystery reinforcement. And the orange bars here are generated automatically to indicate the strength of the value. So 100% it's a full bar followed by smaller bars. Now let's go to the planned versus actual bars. It also presents the planned versus actual but in more visual way in form of bars. And if I hover on any activity, I can see even additional information that will help me in my analysis. I can also use the filters here, concrete for example, and I can see the concrete selection only also I can change the data date I will go now to the activity progress percentage trend which can be very interesting so first I have to set up my filter I will choose the ground floor and the podium area maybe podium one concrete and the column is still reinforcement. It will show me here when the activity has started and what is the progress in each week. So for example, the activity started here, I achieved 20%. Then the week after, I achieved 50% of that activity. The last week, I finished 30%, which means I have completed this activity in three weeks period. I can see also the cumulative at each point. So for example, in the second week, I achieved 50% but overall 70% of that activity then I completed the activity 100% in my third week I can also compare it with the plant I can see that I started late because the planned line is shown here and at each week what is expected for me to accomplish so this can be very very valuable to uh, review the trend of our particular activity not only the cumulative status or the overall but also what's happening in my trend I will go now to the progress trend based on earned value so it is similar to the previous visual. However, it's showing me the earned value analysis, not the activity percentage. So right now I can see on weekly basis how much I have achieved, what is the cumulative actual, what is the cumulative planned, but based on the earned value cost, I can also go to concrete, for example, and the chart is automatically updated. I can use the whole ground floor and the podium area. I can do whatever I want, finishes, and this is my cost variance trend. So how much I am falling behind the planned progress. So this is my cost variance itself over time. And I was a little bit ahead here during this period. Then it has been fluctuating with me. Then from this point onward, the cost variance is increasing over time. Delay and ahead trend. The concept is similar to the previous chart, but this time I'm showing the project delay in amount of days and not cost variance. I was here on a schedule, but it has been fluctuating a little bit. Then the delays increase from this point onward. I can go to the cost variance breakdown because I know right now what is the cost variance for the whole project. And I want to know where the highest cost variance is located in my project. This chart is automatically updated for me. The highest cost variance is located in this area, followed by this area 
then this activity, then this activity, and so on. I can also hover on any activity and I will see additional information such as planned cost, earned value cost, planned percentage, actual percentage, and what is the actual percentage achieved over the past week only. In this case, I wanna know if I'm getting closer to the recovery or not. And if I select any activity, the indicators are also updated for me. I can see now this activity alone accounts for the highlighted area in the earned value cost from the whole project and the figures here are updated as well for the slab reinforced concrete only. And as we have seen before, I can always go back and check the progress status on any data date. So this is very powerful. And here I have the earned value cost from this button. I can click the plus sign here and I can see what is the breakdown of my earned value. So this is a breakdown sorted from highest to lowest. I can even go deeper in the analysis to see floor wise, where is my earned value cost and even more detailed if I click on the concrete right now, okay, I can see the indicators updated. I, and also the path is highlighted for me. So this value for the concrete under podium one, under this category, and I can also go to more details to see even what is the breakdown of the concrete earned value here, slab, columns, rebar, shutter, etc. And you can basically do it for any category, landscape, block work, plaster, paint, finishes, any type of analysis, any level of details you wanna go through. And as always, I can go back at any data date and check the status. So now this is the earned value on this data date. What is the breakdown 